we've done a GPR in about seven and a half acres, I do believe. And there's about another, maybe a 10, 10 acre plot that we have to do yet. Two, two and a half months. That's the droning, we done the droning, then we done the, the GPR, the technology, and it is, all, it is all guided by our elders, you know, using the oral history and our culture and our traditions. And we had elders on site every day. The elders always talk about you should check by the rink. Years ago, when I was a kid, I heard that. Uh, actually, we never expected nothing up the hill at St. Philip's School. It, it, it was a shocker, the, the 12 that we did find. Uh, down the hill, uh, we, we, we expected down, down the hill at the Fort Pelly Residential School. But, uh, but the issue there is uh, there used to be headstones there once upon a time. For some unfortunate reason, they all disappeared, just like the Kawasa situation. And uh, our, issue, our issue here is to identify those children through records. And we were, uh, were working with TRC out of Winnipeg in regards to records, uh, 87,000 records that is released by the federal government. And also the TRC also have records of the both schools. From the Fort Pelly Residential School, uh, about 25, 30 years ago when I become chief, uh, the elders took me down there and, and there, was, uh, there was a bunch of gravestones, headstones. And, uh, and it is mostly children with no names on the headstones. So uh, we feel the majority down the hill was probably children. You know, for all we know, uh, you know, maybe it was an epidemic that happened. We don't know that. But just on the record from the TRC, there's uh, three kids down, down at, uh, from uh, Fort Pelly Residential School that, are, that, that were missing and two from St. Phillips, total of five children. The community expected Fort Pelly. We expected that, but not St. Phillips. That one kind of hit everybody hard because we're a residential, Indian residential school monument there. Where it is, we have gatherings there. And uh, within our cu culture and traditions, it's, it's very bad for us to be stepping over graves.